To everyone who wants to make a bow, I want to help you. So that's why you're here on this video, I hope, is that you want to make a bow. And I've put together a, a fairly large playlist here of over 10 videos where I'm going to help you make a bow. So the playlist is in the description if you want to hit it. This is the eighth installment, I believe, in this tailoring course I built out last year, and I'm wanting to offer it to you to enjoy. So have a great time watching this, have a better time making a bow, have a better time shooting the bow, and stay positive, stay shatterproof. Mm. Enjoy this video. It's now time to cover what a positive and a negative tiller is so that you know what you're looking for when you're finishing up your bow. To understand the positive and the negative tiller, it's first important to understand bow layout. Now, in general, for most people, you wanna lay out your bow so that the pressure point of your hand and the handle is the center of the bow, which means your arrow rest is going to be above center a quarter, uh, an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. With that being said, that means if both limbs bend the exact same, then it'd be ideal that your arrow rest would be in the very center of the bow. But since it's above the center of the bow, the logical thing to do is to make the top limb bend just slightly more than the bottom limb, and that's going to make it shoot an arrow better. Kind of interesting. I have a quick um, pro tip for you, and that is to make your bow perfectly balanced. Yeah, as close to balance as you can make it, right where your hand is, you can see this one's all ever so slightly off balance makes a bow shoot so much better. And I, I've never heard anybody talk about this, but I have tested this out and this is something I'm doing on the bows we're gonna sell, is if you can make the wood equal on either side and have the center of the bow be where your palm is feeling the pressure and then also making that bow balanced makes a world of a difference when you're gonna shoot the bow. That's just a little side tip. As far as traditional archery as a whole goes, tiller is known to be measured from the deepest part of the limb on either limb. And so you can measure this and find the deepest part. Now, a positive tiller is where the top limb from here to here is a bigger distance than the bottom limb from here to here. A negative tiller is where the bottom limb's a further distance. In general, with the arrow rest being one inch to an inch and a half above the pressure point, above the throat of the handle where you hold the bow, if that's the case, you want a one eighth inch positive tiller or a quarter inch positive tiller, somewhere in there. So let's see what I've got here on one of my favorite bows. We got seven and seven eighths. And then on the bottom, we've got seven and five eighths. So pretty good. And that's probably why this one shoots so, so smoothly. With that being said, understanding the positive tiller is the top limb bending more and the negative tiller is the bottom limb bending more, you wanna check this tiller or check this measurement throughout building the bow. With that being said, how you tiller the bow is no different than what we've already covered to create a positive tiller. How you do that is you just want this limb bending more, but it's gonna be even, and that quarter inch right there is such a small amount. So when you're at full draw, you're normally gonna tuck on the tillering tree or on the tillering board, this top limb's gonna bend half an inch to an inch more. Uh, probably not even an inch more, it's probably closer to half an inch more than the bottom limb. But this sort of fine tuning is often what I'll do when I'm shooting the bow in that last two inches of tillering. But I did want to mention what a positive and a negative tiller is before you get all the way to the end of uh, tillering your bow so that you can have in mind Oh, I, I might want to have the pressure point, the very center, if I measure from both sides of the bow, the very center is right here where my hand is. Oh, and I also can make that as balanced as possible, which is going to create a really smooth shooting bow. To recap on most bow layouts, uh, an eighth inch to a quarter inch is what I shoot for as a positive tiller when the bow is finished.